And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 38. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. And the Vikings hit 12 and 4 now on the year. But Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 21. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Cousins now. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They'll throw again. Cousins. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson with touchdown number 29. Too short of LaDainian Tomlinson's all-time record 31. And the Vikings are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Joseph connects on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. So it's all down to this week 18 on the NFL schedule. And that means that once we sort things out, we'll all be set for our second ever Super Wild Card weekend, which I think everyone agrees was a runaway success last year. We've got two games coming up on Saturday, three more on Sunday, and then we'll put a bow on it Monday night. 145 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. Well, we saw David Montgomery lead the nation a few years back in broken tackles when he was at Iowa State.
be difficult to bring down in the NFL as well. And with a guy his size, you have to know defensively that arm tackles aren't going to fly with him. You have to be able to wrap up, or else he can just brush tacklers aside like they're not even there. From the gun, here's Fields. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete here to commit. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. On first down, Fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. The throw for Claypool is intercepted. And the Vikings are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Following the interception, Cousins. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Osborne. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Hey, Flicker, Flicker. Guns. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Guns. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Guns. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. So I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. That's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Cousins on third and two. And that will be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They here in the first half after that possession now they know that they can compete with this offense so they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away and did they keep it in they did they kept it in it's down close to the goal line at the one yard line you rarely call your punter a weapon but he certainly was Pinning them down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. 165 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Now Fields. 
They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. A short gain there of just four. That'll bring up a fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now Jordan Berry on to kick this one away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. On the return is Peterson. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Vikings, they'll be set. over in great field position first and ten Gun. left side cook and he'll be taken down right around the 41 yard line a good run there on first down and it'll leave him with a second and two First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And this is taken in at the five. And he's in for the score. And his spectacular season continues as he ties the NFL touchdown record. He is phenomenal. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Oh, a deep ball there on second down. Lined up incomplete. Fans do that the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Try to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect, but as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier, trying to keep him in the rhythm. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Fields now to throw. Rolling to his fields hit, and the ball is loose. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Well, partner, they went empty set there. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. Cousins now after the fumble recovery. Got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. Good 
Now Cousins. This will be caught at about the six. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the two now, second and goal. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. see this offense operate I don't know they just seem to get more impressive they certainly do and let's face it it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring this team designs things well and executes even better and here it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone that's how they demoralize teams that's how they put them on notice And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another timeout called by the Vikings now. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Fields. That's caught by Montgomery. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Right away, right away. Up On third down, they go Montgomery. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. It's a pickup of six, but it's not going to be enough. And the punt team's going to be summoned on fourth down. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for Chicago. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here comes Rager. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. here on the bootleg he'll rifle this one deep right side and that is incomplete he's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws but let's play a little philosophy here some plays it works sometimes they're ready for you and that time they were on guard incomplete let's go get it now Second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Gun! Throwing, Cousins. Throw caught there by Osborne. All right, now here we go. And he's gonna be taken down right at the 40 yard line. Final play of 
the half, Cousins. And this one is incomplete. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It's all down to this. Week 18 of the NFL regular season. Only two quarters of football left in the regular season. Everybody's excited to get to the playoffs. So excited that we're just going to skip right over halftime and get back to the action. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Justin Jefferson and the rest of this offense, they've got their helmets back on and they're ready for this next series. Now this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now, they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so we don't have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that a mid-game trade is going to happen, but good thought. And he's got room. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 60 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. Room here to run. Touchdown, Vikings. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Joseph on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Bears offense making their way out as we give you a look at the playoff race in the NFC. And it's all come down to this, hasn't it? Final week of the regular season. If this year's playoffs play out anything like the regular season has gone, could be in for a wild and fun month of January. And we can break the rules because we can look ahead. All right, there's not a coach out there that's ever said to their team, all right, let's look three, three weeks down the road. It's always right here, right now. Forget that. Think about what the playoffs are going to look like. The teams that we see that are already in, the teams that are trying to get in, we could have some great matchups. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Fields. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situations. Now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That's a nice play there. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10, right at the 40. Here's Fields. 
That's complete to Mooney. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. Off play action, Fields. There's Moody with another catch. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. Throw left side, taken in by Claypool. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Daniil Hunter in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Santos' kick is up and through, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, Barton, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. And you see Dalvin Cook in the offense heading back out. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Open man is Osborne. He's got him. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A good pick up there. 26 yards. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Come on. Up the middle, it's Cook. And it's a room to maneuver. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. <laughs> on the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. Down to the 25. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. From the 25 on second down, Cousins. Throw left side complete. That's Osborne. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Holding offense. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not Gun. get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. Cousins. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Osborne. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm not any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Delay of game, often. Don't you do it! So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Cook following the penalty. 
They find some open field here. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. They run again on first down. Cook. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. It doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business in the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man, and he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though, but I think what they thought, hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. Gun. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Get it, get it, get it, get it. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. And that is caught. And the record is his. It's a touchdown. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Fields leaving it with Montgomery here on the option. And he will have the Bears first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. On first down, it's Fields. Caught by Montgomery. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. To throw again on second down. Fields throws the out route and finds Claypool. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 47. Back to throw, Fields. And he finds Montgomery complete. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. Well, I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. Field throw there, hauled in by Claypool. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 31-yard line. And throwing again is Fields. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and lead the game out that way. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line.
This offense so far on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Montgomery, they'll run for it. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. Well, they knew who to turn to on fourth down. Their horse, they needed the short yardage. He just couldn't get it. And that's a surprise because normally... That's bread and butter for them, right? Hand it to the big guy, let him go, pick up the first down. Didn't get it there. All credit to the defense. Usually, even if they know he's coming, he can't be stopped, and they got it done on that play. On first and 10, Cousins. And a quick throw here, that's complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it's second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing again on second down. Cousins. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. That's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. On third down, Cousins. Throw left side complete. That's Osborne. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, it's Cousins. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. On second and ten, Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 20-yard line. 18 yards the gain for number 18. From the red zone now, Cousins. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Vikings look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Joseph connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this taken in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. We're all right, just call the call. We're going to play it. Come on now. And a penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward.
Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Fields now to throw. A throw left side taken in by Komet. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. To throw his fields. And that one on the money to Claypool downfield. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Fields quickly into the hands of Fuller. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Again, Fields. That's complete right side to Komet. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Now a first down throw, Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Throwing on third down, Fields. Buying time to his left. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first down, Fields. This is caught. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Cousins here to throw. No oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Partner, they've been aggressive airing it out all game long and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage, though. Two plays in a row, and that one falls incomplete. Gun. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. To throw once more on second and ten. Cousins. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 24-yard line. They'll throw again. Cousins. 
And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. A CD there up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Now Cousins. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. So it goes from a three-score to a four-score lead here in the closing moments of the fourth quarter. And whether they got that bonus touchdown or not, it's been a pretty impressive performance. And they did it with not much time left. But they took what little time was on the clock and used it well, didn't they? Put a real exclamation point on their win with that score. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So a sensational return there on special teams, a foot race that he was not going to lose. But now, meanwhile, while that was going on, we've got an injured player on the field. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. On first and 10, here's Fields. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Fuller. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. And incomplete on the deep ball. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here's Fields. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with 13 seconds left to play. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can.